to get started, go ahead and create a document any size that you would like. Select the pen tool or P on your keyboard. Hit one point, hold shift so that it's a perfect line and click down a second time and you have a line. The next thing you're going to do is create a square or rectangle. So use your rectangle tool or M on your keyboard. With your move tool selected, which is V on your keyboard, go ahead and let it connect up to the line that you created. And then go to view, studio, and symbols. Hit create. And then with your symbol layer selected in your layers panel, hit command C and command V to copy and paste, or you can select it and drag it down to what looks like a piece of paper. And when you drag it down there, it just copies. So here in the top middle, there is a flip horizontal button. Click that and then drag this to the other side of that line. So back in your layers panel, select the two layers titled symbol and hit command G to group. You can also right click group. So with the triangle selected, it will drop down the two layer files. Drop down that first one and unselect that rectangle. And you will see that both of those rectangles disappeared. Totally fine. Stay in this section in your layers. So you can use whatever tool you would like to create your pattern or your illustration. Um, you can use like your brush, rectangle circle, the pencil, and you'll see that it is creating mirror images on both sides of this line. So all it's doing is reflecting onto the other side. So this is really great if you are wanting to do like a mirror repeat pattern and you can set up your file to do this, but it's a really great way to get started with making like mandalas and stuff like that. But before we go to the next step to make the mandala, I just want to show you something like if you have created your clip art, like this was created in a Skillshare class that I taught last year. So select the image you would like, hit Command C to copy. You can even right click copy, go back in to the document you created, hit Command V to paste. And you will see that you now have your clip art and it is mirroring on the opposite side of your document. So like I was saying, if you wanted to do like a mirror repeat pattern, this way everything you are creating is repeating on this other side. So the next step is creating the Mandela. And that takes a little bit more time to set up, but in the end it's just as easy to create your mirror repeats. So go ahead and create a new document. Now I'm keeping the same thing that I had for the last one. And I'm going to X out of that clip art. And just like the last one, start with your pen tool. Holding shift so that it's a straight line. I use V on my keyboard to select the line, hit Command C, Command 
V to copy and paste. And you will see this very top spot on the line that's selected. If you click it, it will rotate. If you hold shift, it does an automatic 45 degree or 15 degree angle. Yeah, 15 degree. Um, so just go back to the start, let it go 15 degrees, hit Command C, Command V, and just continue to do this all the way around and eventually you can hit command J and it will do the work for you. So select all of these, group them together, and if you click the button that has two rectangles in a line, go ahead and Align this to the center of your artboard by using your align center on both of the vertical and horizontal sections. I'm just going to make this a little bit larger. And go back in and center it again. I want to zoom in using command and the plus sign. And just like last time, I'm going to use a rectangle, put it right up against that line, go to View, Studio, and Symbols. Create. And like I mentioned last time, if you have this layer selected, you can drag it down to what looks like that paper, and it creates the copied layer. So flip horizontally, drag to the other side. You can either command G to group or right click group. So with that group selected, hit command C, command V. Zoom out slightly because you want to see the center. You will see what looks like two lines in a circle and that is your show rotation center option. So you'll see this, drag it down to the exact center of this guide and bring it two lines over. Hit Command C, Command V, and continue all the way around. Go ahead and group all of these except for the very first group. So go into the first group you created and drop down and drop down that first symbol. If you unselect that rectangle, you will see now that everything goes away. So once again, in that first symbol, you can start your Mandela a few different ways. So you can start off with your circle. And I'm going to go straight for the very center. And just so it's a different color and a little easier to see, I'm going to choose something other than black. And you can use any tool that you would like. So you can just do your pen tool. So you can use your pen tool, you can use like the circle tool, 
the rectangle tool. You can even use your brush. The vector brush that is in this panel will create as if you're using like a pen tool. So it's going to go in and add points as you are drawing. You can continue using your pen tool to create your Mandela. Just make sure that you are in that first symbol. And you can see this is not coming up quite the way that I want. So you can always go in and edit the way those look. And I'm going to change this and the color panel to a fill instead of a stroke. So another way of creating your mandala or, I mean, you could even use the same method to create like a flower. Go into your pixel persona, which is this button that looks like six different squares and select a brush and with your brush tool you'll see that it's all like live so you can see what's going on so I think you could really do anything So you can go in And really create a very, very intricate mandala, but very easily because everything is being repeated for you. If you want to see it without those guidelines, just unselect that. And you have your mandala.